Well, let's go. I hope we have the door. So. Okay. Just keep it open. There we go. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Raleigh Board of Selectmen meeting for September 17th, 2012. The door was in the way of the camera, so we had to move it there. So i uh, call the meeting to order. Um, remind everybody that this uh, meeting is being videotaped and audio taped. Uh, first, first on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Joe, would you leave us, lead us? Uh, sure, Joe. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Joe. Okay, tonight what we have is... Uh, 705 to 715 will be citizens query uh, it is now uh, about two minutes after seven um, I have no chairman's comments tonight <coughs> and uh, we have a uh, we have a joint meeting of the Board of Library trustees to fill a vacancy and that will be at 715 at 730 we have an appointment fire chief Broderick to present a uh, new call firefighter Andrew Nardone at 7.45, we have an appointment, uh, Police Chief Barker, to present new Reserve Patrolman Matthew Drucott and, and Robert Adams. Also, before we go forward, I just I usually announce this at the end of the meeting, but I just um, I talked to uh, two of the ladies from the food pantry this morning, and they told me they're in need of some paper goods, tissue, some jellies and jam, and also cans of tuna fish at this particular time. So if you can remember those those uh, four items, some tissues, um, paper goods, jellies and jams, and tuna fish. Again, it's always at this, particularly this time of year, to reach out to those less fortunate um, to help them out in the food pantry. They do a great job. But I will, again, I'll um, announce that again at the end of the meeting. So, anyways, moving on. We will get into, and now it is about, about four minutes after seven. Well, let's get into general business. Okay, I have a letter from Fire Chief Broderick about donations and contributions to the September 11, 2001 memorial ceremony. Fire Chief Roderick has sent the Board of Selectmen a letter listing all the donors and contributors to the September 11, 2001 Memorial and Memorial Ceremony. The Board of Selectmen needs to vote to accept the gifts from the donors, which include local businesses, organizations, and contributors to the events. The Board of Selectmen needs to vote to send a thank you letters to be signed by the Chairman to all donors and contributors. Okay. This is from, the, from Chief Broderick, members of the board. I am pleased to submit to you two lists of individuals and local co companies that have contributed to the planning and monetary contributions to, uh, to the dedication of the enhanced 9-11 memorial at the uh, Common of Cross and Pleasant Streets. If it were not for these individuals and companies, this, this dedication of the enhanced memorial could not have been uh, possible and their contributions should be recognized. Respectfully, Chief C. Broderick, Fire Chief, Town of Raleigh, Co-Chair of Town of Raleigh 9-11 Memorial Committee. 9-11 Memorial Committee, those that assisted in the planning process. Town Hall staff, Town Administrator Deborah Egan, Executive Secretary Doreen Gloat, Executive Secretary Amy Lydon, um, Raleigh Volunteer Fire Protection Association, uh, mementos for Pine Grove students who participated in the poetry contest, Pine uh, Grove School, Principal Christine Nealon, uh, the teachers and judge the poems, Bill McGuire, Elena Stacy, 
served on the committee uh, to judge poems for submittal. Individuals, Caitlin Broderick, uh, uh, drew first rendering of the uh, monument, what it would look like. On the 9-11 committee, donors list, Raleigh Highway Department, Raleigh Light Department, Raleigh Ready Mix, Cassidy Brothers Forge, Yankee Pine, Country Gardens Florist, Chickadee Hill Landscaping, Crown Trophy, Action Ambulance. Labor and, um, uh, the, the following, let me go back and I'll reread re these because uh, this is not full. The Raleigh Highway Department, there was the Labor and Equipment Use. The Raleigh Light Department, Electrical Service at the site. Raleigh Ready Mix, Concrete for the Footing. Cassidy Brothers Forge, Drilling of the Granite. Yankee Pine, Lumber for the Footing. Country Gardens Florist, Flowers. Chickadee Hill Landscaping, Mulch. Crown Trophy, that was the plaque. Action Ambulance, Standby Cooling Station. Monetary Donations, Cap Capco Crane, Capone Iron Corporation, Comstar Incorporated, First National Bank of Ipswich, Ipswich Bay, Bay Glass, Mill River Winery, Rotary Club of Ipswich, Wakefield Moving and Storage. All those individuals who would like to commend for their uh, helping us out, because uh, it wouldn't have been possible without them for that memorial. Bob, do you have anything to say? No, other than uh, the chief is right. Uh, without their help, it would have been much, much more difficult to uh, to get that put together and come up with it. And the uh, the people that donated services and that kind of thing were, were very, very helpful. Uh, Rowley Ready Mix was extremely cooperative. Cassidy Brothers was extremely cooperative. I, I went to them and asked them where I could buy a, a drill bit to drill the granite, and they said, don't worry about it, we'll take care of it. I mean, it's just, it was, uh, and they were there the next morning. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. It really was. Uh, everybody seemed very interested in doing the, the project and giving us a hand, and it all came together, as we know. And Bob, I want to commend you, Reverend Bob Kogopian, and Chief Roderick, for your le leadership on the committee. You really did a splendid job. And everything um, on, on the 8th of September jelled because of the three of you. Yeah. Three of you. you did a great job. Well, thank you very much. It, it was uh, a fun committee to be on. Uh, everybody pitched in, and it, we worked very well together. It worked out very, very well. Uh, just as a side note, the, uh, the permanent plaque has come in. Mm -hmm. uh, I came in Friday. Uh, I haven't had a chance to, uh, to mount it on the stone yet, but that will be done hopefully this week. Okay, good. And again, if you haven't been down to um, Cross and Pleasant Street, I, I urge you to go down and, and take a look at the memorial. It is very touching. And again, in um, putting this memorial together, we discovered uh, a young man who went down on Lockerbie Flight 103 Pan Am. And we're looking into that right now. Maybe we yeah. can do something about that. But we've had four members of our community who we have lost to terrorism. Three on 9-11 and this young man, uh, what was his name again? Christopher Jones. Jones. Christopher, Christopher Jones, Jones yeah. who was on uh, the Lockerbie plane out of um, Germany back in 1988, as I remember it. But we've, we've lost four members um, to, to terrorism. It's hard to believe a little community like ours could suffer losses like this. But December 21st, 1988. 1980, December 21st, yeah, that's, yeah. Again, um, hard to believe that we could suffer loss like that, full loss. So, Mr. Chairman, I yes. will move to vote to accept the gifts from the donors, which include local businesses, organizations, and contributors to the event. I have a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, it is, um, we are now five minutes into citizen query which started at 705 and it's now 709 and we'll be in citizen query for another another five minutes does anybody have a, a question from the audience okay i have to ask that question we have a large audience tonight i'll move to that we vote to send letters to be signed by the chairman to all the donors and contributors. Okay. I have a motion. 
Second that motion. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Joe. Okay, moving on to general business number two, letter from Chief Broderick's. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, could we set up some more chairs here? Um, Certainly. Sure. We have some people trying to get in the room. Okay. Excuse me. We have a very full house here tonight. Debbie, Amy, thank you. Did everybody get a chance to sign in tonight? I think you once we get to our first appointment, you're going to find that there'll be, <laughs> there'll be a lot of clearing <laughs> out. Yes, extra that's true. space. Okay. They're going to wait. All right, moving along, when are we have about another three minutes until our joint meeting. Uh, general business number two, letter from Chief uh, James Broderick, civilian commentation for David Jackman. Vote to issue a proclamation to David Jackman. The board can invite Mr. Jackman to receive this proclamation at an upcoming meeting. Again, this is from Chief Broderick to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, Members of the board, on August 31st, 2012, at 354, the Raleigh Fire Department responded to, uh, to a report of a, build, a building on fire on Daniels Road. This fire turned out to be a fully involved shed fire that was in close proximity to the uh, main residence at 62 Daniels Road. With quick action, the crews of Raleigh Fire Department extinguished the fire before any substantial damage was done to the dwelling. This fire could have been more more tragic end if it were not for the um, for the, the action of Mr. David Jackman, whom at this time was delivering newspapers for the Newburyport Daily News. Mr. Jackman, not having a cell phone, drove to the Raleigh Police Department, reported the fire on Daniels Road. Due to the um, to his actions, Mr. Jackman, the emergency services of Raleigh were activated, and the family was awakened and evacuated from the house by Raleigh Police Sergeant David Sudwick. In the quick response of the fire department ensued uh, that the main residence and the occupants of 62 Daniels Road received little damage and no injuries. This was the only notification received by the communications center as there were no 911 calls received. Mr. Jackman wrote, uh, was started just a few minutes l uh, later, the, out uh, the outcome of this fire would be different. Mr. Jackman's response to the fire uh, report fire or reporting the fire allow the residents of the home to be able to go back to their home and resume their lives. Mr. Jackman's actions is in line with those of public safety office and that that is to save lives and protect property <coughs> and should be recognized as such as he did save lives and property that morning. I recommend him to receive a citation from the town recognizing his action. Please see the, see the attached uh, police report narrative. Respectfully, Chief uh, James Broderick. Thank goodness Mr. Jackman going by at that, that particular time. We we're very lucky. I'll read this into the written to the record. Uh, first of all, we'd like to um, well, we'll do it afterwards. On the above date, the approximate time, the uh, one David Jackman of Seabrook, New Hampshire, uh, entered into the front lobby of the police station. Jackman was described as having a desperate and hurried look about him. Jackman was reporting a structure fire that was uh, currently occurring in the residence located halfway down Daniels Road. The exact address was unknown to Mr. Jackman. I was dispatched from the police department and arrived at the residence located at 62 Daniels Road. My first observations were that the fire was located in a shed and garage located at the rear of the dwelling. 
and that the structure was not attached but uh, lay within very close proximity. I observed the fire to be the strongest on the east side of the dwelling and the flames were being fanned in the easterly direction away from the home. I went to the front door of the home and began banging and yelling at the occupants to exit. I awoke the family dog who began barking. I then began yelling to the upstairs to, uh, upstairs to open the windows. I explained to some of the occupants that they arrived at the front door that the shed was on fire and that they needed to exit immediately. I observed six people exit the home and confirmed that no other persons were left inside. Officer Hurdle arrived at the time and I advised him to monitor one of the home homeowners who had moved to the rear of the home in an attempt to extinguish the fire uh, with a garden hose. Raleigh Fire Department Engine 1 arrived at uh, 4 minutes past 4 in the morning. The uh, firefighters from Engine 1 were able to contain the fire until the firefighters in Engine 3 arrived to assist and knock down the remaining flames. Fire personnel checked the fire scene for the cause of the fire and began to overhaul the scene. Fire Chief Roderick requested that I interview the homeowners as to the possible cause of the fire. And this, this report goes on and it, it's by uh, Sergeant Sedwick. So again, uh, Mr. Jackman, I think you should have a citation from the board. Do I have a motion from the, from the board? So well, I'll make that motion that we uh, send a citation to uh, Mr. David Jackman. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Why don't we have Mr. Jackman come in? I'll give him the citation first. Okay. Okay. That'd, That'd be a good idea. Fine. Yeah. He did a good job. Okay, it is 17 after. The citizen query is now over. And let me go into my other folder. I can't lose my agenda, otherwise I won't know what to do. Okay. We have a joint meeting with a, it is uh, seven seventeen. So I went a little bit late. Uh, we have a joint meeting with the library board of trustees to fill a vacancy. As chairman of the board, the bo um, that the board of library trustees notify the board of selectmen that there is a vacancy on the board of library trustees. As a result of Joe Perry's resignation. Chairman Snow states that the notice has been posted at the town hall and there is one response to the notice, that of Eva Marie Miller. Chairman Snow calls for a joint meeting of the Library Board of Trustees in order by calling for a motion to open the meeting. After the motion is made, a seconded chairman calls for a roll call vote. So this is what we have to do. Okay, so um, I call for a joint meeting of the uh, Board of Library Trustees. Um, by calling for a motion. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 With a roll call vote. Aye, Robert Mary. Aye, Robert Snow. I have to recuse myself as a former member of the Board of Trustees. Okay. Aye, Jack Cook. Aye, Stu Dozel. Board of Tr Library Trustees. Aye, <laughs> Michelle Ford. Aye, Aaron Skilden. Hi, Michael Clinton. Hi, Phil Cressy. Jacob Fulbitz. Hi, John McCallum. Hi, Janet Peabody. Is that everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have chairs here for the library board. Um, sure. So if you good library board Chairman. can move up to, to the front of the room, please. Eva. I'm right here. Oh, there you it's are. Just Eve. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was Eva. I was looking at the, the script. Okay, Eve. Okay. Eve Marie or Eve? Eve Marie. Eve Marie. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, the board is open and we will be called Eve Marie forward. Okay. And members of the uh, selectmen in the library. 
the Board of Trustees. We now have some questions. So, of the candidate. Oh, does anyone wish to begin? Why don't I begin? Okay. Why do you want to be on the Board of Library Trustees, <laughs> Eva? Um, I've been a librarian for 20 some years, been working in libraries for 25 years. Um, I have a master's in library science and would really like to give back to. I live right here in Raleigh. We just moved here a couple of years ago and thought it was a good combination to um, combine my skills and something I'd really like to give back to the community. Well, I would like that. I'm, I'm assuming you actually signed up to do this. Uh, you will be able to attend the board meetings without any problem. No problem. Okay, that's great. Work great. And it's going very close, so. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And you understand you're being appointed to fill a vacancy on the elected board? Yep, through May. Yep. That's my understanding and of 2013. Yeah, what happens is even if it's a longer term, it runs out at the next election. Uh, it's, a, it's a temporary term till the next election, then you would have to run again to be able to, to qualify. Yeah, no so. problem. Yeah, uh, and I, would you be interested in serving again? I would. Okay. Um, and if you become a member of the, uh, the trustees, you will have to take the state ethics test. Do you have a problem with that? No, I actually took one in California previously. Okay. So no problem. All right. That's good. Any other questions? Yeah. We met Eve at our last um, trustees meeting, so we were able to get to know her better then. We were very impressed with her qualifications, and hopefully her appointment is approved. We're looking forward <laughs> to working with her. Okay. Any other questions from the, from the trustees? Board of Selectmen. Okay. Do we have a motion from to a point. I'll make uh, the motion. Okay, Janet. Michelle. I Michelle. move. Uh, I'll sure. I move that the joint meeting approve the appointment of Eve Miller as trustee to the Rowley Public Library. I second. Have, I have a motion. I have a second. All those in fav favor? Aye. 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 Roll call vote. By, oh, by, by roll call vote. I, Robert Snow. I, Bob Aye. Aye. Aye, Jack Cook. I, Stu Delzell. I, Jacob Bullets. I'm Michelle Ford. Hi, John McKellen. Hi, Aaron Skillman. Hi, Philip Cressy. Hi, Michael Clark. Hi, Janet Peabody. It's official. <laughs> Thank okay. you. You only have to get sworn in. <laughs> okay. Yep. So, Eve, congratulations. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Look forward to it. Thank you. I think Eve Marie is an excellent Thank choice you. for yes. the library. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eve. <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed a wonderful group of people. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. I've enjoyed my time. We wish you okay. the One thing we have to do. Thank you so much. Okay, now we have to close the meeting. Okay. So, um, do I have a motion to close the joint meeting between the Library Board of Trustees and the Board of Selectmen? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. All those in favor with a roll call vote? Yep. Hi, Janet Peabody. Hi, um, I go on. I Philip Cressy. Hi, Aaron Skillman. Hi, John McKellen. Hi, Michelle Ford. Hi, Jacob Goldwitz. Hi, Stu Delzell. Hi, Robert Mary. Hi, Robert Snow. Hi, Jack Cook. Meeting's closed. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Sorry about the crowded conditions. But Actually, Eve, uh, what's going to happen is, is uh, the administrator, the secretary, will fill out a form for you, and it'll be given to the town clerk's office, and then you can come in and get sworn in. Okay, so they'll send you a copy of that. Okay. Right now. Actually, uh, actually right now. they've arranged for us to do it right now. Do it right now. Yep. So you get, you. The, yep. you get the They're running it over right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 We'll see you around, John. Well, you, you will. You will. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Damn. I feel like we have all of a sudden plenty of room in here. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had that feeling that things would work out. Okay. Ruby else can fill in her back. I 
Hello, how's it going? Hey, Chief. Hi, Chief. Okay, it is 26 after. We have a joint meeting. Sit right in front of the chairman. I'm sorry, we have, <laughs> a, we have an appointment with the fire chief at 7.30, so we have about four more minutes. So in the meantime, let's see if I can go to general business number three. Okay, I have request to lift the hiring freeze. Uh, request to lift the hiring freeze from Deborah Egan, uh, the honorable selectman. I am requesting the board lift the hiring freeze so that I may post administrative assistant position. This is a 12 hour per week position. Please let me know if you have any questions. So any questions on the board? Okay. Do I have a motion from the board? I'll make that motion. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So this is number three complete. Okay, general business number four. We'll look in your packet, gentlemen. We have a road opening permit from National Grid. And road opening is for 22 Brook uh, Street for corrosion work. So, it looks like it's down by Brook in Forest. Everything seems to be in order here. Do I have a motion from the Board of Selectmen? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, yes. Uh, we'll pass this, this assignment. Those who have not signed the sign in sheet is being passed around right now to the back. So please, before you leave, sign the, the sign up sheet. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay, uh, general business number four. We have a road opening permit for National Grid to um, open 681 Haverhill Street. So, gentlemen, look at your packet. Everything seems to be in order. This is open by Leslie Road. Down by Leslie Road in, in Haverhill Street. Again, everything seems to be appropriate. And um, this is to install a new gas gas main and run service. So, with that, do I have a motion from the from the board? So move. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Well. On 7:30. Okay, 7:30. Uh, 
uh, we have an appointment by Fire Chief Broderick to present new call firefighter Andrew Nardone. Applications for call firefighter probationary. Members of the board, I have received an application and have interviewed the following individuals for the position of uh, probationary call firefighter. Uh, Andrew Nardone of 34 34 Farnham Road, Raleigh. After checking his references, I am recommending him for appointment to the Raleigh Fire Department as a probationary call firefighter. I will be available to introduce Andrew to the board at your earliest convenience. With that, Chief, I'll turn it over to you. Um, board, uh, this is Andrew Nardone. Andrew. Andrew. Uh, he seemed a little more excited earlier. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he checked his ex, uh, references. He came back good. He's done a lot of stuff for a uh, company he works for, a police academy. I don't know why I wanted to be a firefighter with all the police training, but uh, uh, I think he'll make a fine ad addition to the department, and you can ask him any questions you like. Okay. What's your background, Andrew? Uh, right now I work full-time at a DYS facility in Middleton. Um, last uh, June 2010, I graduated the Reserve at the Minton Police Academy. Uh, I was the guide on for that academy class, uh, selected by my instructors. Oh, wow. And I hold numerous uh, state certificates in the public safety field uh, that are still relevant to firefighting. Well, that's great. Excellent. Okay. And he'll be attend the academy, correct? Yes, he'll be okay. uh, one of uh, four right now that will attend the next class, okay. which will be next year. Okay, next year. Okay. Any other questions from the board? No. Yep. No, sounds like we're a good candidate. Yeah. Sounds an excellent candidate. Okay. So, do I have a motion from the board? I'll make that motion to appoint Andrew. Do I have a second? Second it for the uh, firefighter position. I have, a, I have a motion and I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Andrew, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> right away. <laughs> All right. Chief, you need me you. for anything else? We actually have an official action. Oh, okay. In here. In the top of the Thank you. Thanks, Chief. All right. Do I have any questions on the other two letters? No, no, we're no. all set. We're, we're all set. We're all we're set. actually going through you. those already, Chief. Yeah, dude, we went quit? through them already. Yeah, we'll <laughs> tonight. Yeah. All right, have a good night. All right. Thanks, Chief. I think I could think of that gentleman's last name. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Six, General. Yeah. Let's, uh, it is now 7.33, so let's go back to... Business number six. I have to go out of this this folder and into the other folder. Okay. General business number six: a road opening permit to request National Grid to open 27 Long Hill Road to install new gas gas main and run service. Gentlemen, look over the. The documents. Yes. Everything seems to be in order here. It's down by uh, Long Hill and Dodge. Looks like. No, let's see. What no, you no, no, no. Number, no. It's number, uh, number six. Seven, seven, Long Dodge. Hill. Oh, oh, Dodge. Right. Yeah. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we got so many of them tonight, Stu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. New gas Yeah, yeah. yeah. new gas Okay. Do I have a motion for the board? I'll make that motion. We grant that. I have a motion. To open 27 Long Hill Road. Thank you, Jack. Do I have a second? I'll second that. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's like a world oil machine tonight. <laughs> Winter's coming. The gas company will keep busy. Oh, well, they will <laughs> yes. be. Yes, they will be. That was three open permits. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just that. I'll just first. Okay. And one corrosion. Thank you. I don't know if 
you looked at that, but that's what it says. So we're already a month behind in the road the road openings. So let's hope we have a winter like last winter. Uh, I would certainly appreciate a winter like last winter, but <laughs> this is no England. I'm not I'm afraid count of the drought <laughs> that we've gone through. That would be the result of another winter. That would be a long shot. It sure would. Thank you. Uh, we do need we do need water to fill the reservoirs and everything else. So yeah, it's no question. Oh, it's dry. It is dry. It is now 7.36. Okay. okay, let's move on to old business. Um, we have completed general business. And again, we have had an appointment at 7.45 um, with the police chief Barker to present a new reserve patro uh, patrolman. Matthew Ducott and um, Robert Adams. So we still have a few minutes. So with that, let's move to old business. Memo from Town Administrator Deborah Egan, uh, Capital Projects List. Debbie provided the, um, the board with an update of all the projects she, Amy, and Doreen have been working on. Several of the projects on the list are funded with CPA money. The board needs to vote to send a letter to the C uh, Community Preservation Committee updating them on the various projects we are working on that are funded with the Community Preservation Act money. Joseph Perry, Selectman, representative to the Community Preservation Fund, will present the letter to the CPC at the meeting later this week. Okay. So the letter is attached and in that letter. That need to be signed by? No. So the board should just vote on well, the letter. Let you sign it. it. Doesn't vote to letter? sign it. Okay. Should I go through all the yeah, I'll go through. Yeah. Dear Chairman Todd, the Board of Selectmen offers the following update on various projects that we are working on. One, the Town Hall second floor window replacement currently in the bidding process. Two, cemetery fence repair, cemetery board currently in the bidding process. Three, Town Hall cupola. Uh, bid documents will be released in early October. Four, Town Hall clock. Bid documents will be released in early October. Five, annex study. Currently working on a request for proposals to contact uh, contract with an architect for plans and specifications for the purchase installation of a commercial grade elevator at the annex and floor plans for the first and second floor floors of the building. RFP to be released mid October. Six. Town Common Restoration. Town Common Restoration Committee is writing the project specifications uh, and will be sending them to the Selectman's Office so that the bid documents can be completed. The bid is scheduled uh, to be released this fall. 7. Town Hall First Floor Renovations. Tentatively planning to work on this project in, mids, uh, in, in summer 2013. Uh, the Board of Selectmen will be presenting the following projects to CPC at your 2013 winter meeting. One, annex siding. Currently uh, researching the cost to reside the annex with cement board, cement board slash wood. Two, annex elevator. Based on the results from the annex architectural study, the Board of Selectmen will seek CPA funds for the purchase and installation of a new elevator that uh, related to the annex building improvements. The Board of Selectmen offers the following update on the Bradstreet property. One, Bradstreet house barn disposition. We have a uh, viable buyer if the um, process continues in accordance with the RFP guidelines, this property will be sold before the end of the year. Two, Bradstreet affordable housing RFP, the RFP will be released March 2013, sincerely Robert Snow. So with that. Um, if I could comment. Oh, certainly. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank uh, uh, Amy and Debbie and uh, Doreen for their work, and I want to especially thank 
Debbie and uh, Selectman Mary for uh, meeting with me this morning to uh, go over the projects as I'm the new member of the uh, conservation or uh, the uh, community preservation committee and uh, to uh, update me on the projects and to uh, give me some a lot of good information I want to thank you very much Debbie I want to thank you on behalf of the board you've done a, a great job you and Amy and Doreen thank you so much you, you worked really hard over over the summertime getting this all compiled and together so thank you so much on the board I don't think any of us realize how much work actually goes into one of these RFPs yes uh, and it's it's a tremendous amount of work it is you know, the bigger the project the more work there is and I've found that out myself by being able to work with Debbie and, and just kind of hopefully guide her in the right direction to, on some questions that she has and, uh, but it's it's really a lot of work and I think without the help of our two administrative assistants uh, it would be that much more difficult and and I think you're you know we see the operation day to day here in the, in right. the office you know, and, and it is hectic the phones are ringing all the time there are people coming in and out and with all this you've got all these projects so and again these these become so complicated that you really have to sit down and basically lock the door yeah. to be able to concentrate and follow through on it and that happens very rarely around here that yeah. the doors yeah. get locked <laughs> so I mean it's uh, it's amazing to me that they get it done but they do they really do and it's, it's we really appreciate your efforts yes. really appreciate your efforts I want to thank you very much for all that you guys do thank really. you and yeah. we thank you uh, Equally, uh, we don't know everything about uh, you know, carpentry and uh, cast iron fences and thankfully uh, between Selectman and um, the cemetery board has been wonderful um, to try to write the technical specifications on our own. And it's challenging so we do thank you and we thank your patience and um, we really have a team effort here and Doreen's very talented in many areas and Amy is so uh, between the three of us, we've been able to carve out time to focus on these projects for the town. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yep. And, and I, again, that is I, I have to commend you because there's an operation here, the in and out of the operation, everything else. It is, I'm just amazed how you can get all this work put together and done. So thank you again. Joe, Jack, Jack. Yeah, I just want to add as chairman of the Cemetery Commission, the project and time you've helped us we would have never done this and you know what it is to put the bidding out and and everything else what these girls have done up in here to really help us and well, thank you it, we consider you know, it to be our we responsibility so we, we're here to, to help the town yeah. to do these projects Doing the bidding and whatever so we do big we process you. to do this so we appreciate it too very much thank, thank you, you. So with that uh, motion to sign water? I'll make that motion to sign the second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Rustle these papers and look busy here for the next 30 seconds. I can get to 745 for our, <laughs> for our appointment. Can you read fast? Hmm? Can you read fast? I can't read that fast. I, I don't think I <laughs> the next 30 seconds. I can't do. I can't no. do um, old business number number two. But I can talk. Okay. I can very. I, I can kind of ad lib and kind of play this around. And here comes the chief walking through the door. It's yeah, perfect yeah. timing, chief. Perfect timing, yeah. chief. I just said work this here. Okay. Okay, here you can see it, Chief. Okay, I've been gabbing and ad living and trying to stretch this time out yeah. so we get right to 745 to and I got another 10 seconds. I'm doing a really good job. <laughs> so, and I have to go back to my other folder here. Okay. It is now 745. Excellent. Okay. Honorable board, board members, this is from uh, Chief Robert Barker. I hear, hereby 
recommend that you appoint Matthew Ducott of Raleigh, Massachusetts, and Robert Adams of Lynn, Massachusetts, to the position of Reserve Patrolman effective September 18, 2012, and expiring on June 30, 2013. This appointment includes a probationary period with uh, continued employment to uh, be dependent upon both physical and psychological examinations, uh, successfully qualifying with department firearms in completion of 200 hours of supervised on-the-job training program. A comprehensive background check was completed by D Detective Lieutenant Joseph Gamarsh and reviewed by me. Both candidates possess a minimum requirements to hold this position, including Reserve Police Academy and first aid training, as well as several other public safety related classes. Both candidates passed a written exam, exam and a formal oral board to become finalists for this position. Mr. Ducott works for the Middlesex County Sheriff's Department as a corrections pol uh, officer, currently assigned to Gang Task Force and has three years of experience with the Essex <coughs> Police Department as a reserve patrolman. Mr. Adams is currently employed as an EMT for Atlantic EMS. I believe both candidates will make an excellent addition to the Raleigh Police Department. Sincerely, Robert R. Barker, Chief of Police. With that, Chief, I'll turn it over to you. Well, the letter pretty much sums it up. As you know, we rely heavily on reserve officers to so uh, fill in for full-time officers who are on vacation or uh, injured or sick or whatever, and um, it's um, because of the way the budget is structured. Um, we, we need the straight time as opposed to overtime. So um, we found ourselves short again, and it um, seems like every year we're back to the well. Um, it's more, more and more difficult because we're still two full-time men lower than we were three years ago. So um, these guys um, answer the call when we put out for applications, and um, you know, I'm very excited to have them both become members. Mm -hmm. uh, David handled um, most of the um, the hiring process for me, so um, we we had a we had a kind of a dual um, role in it, so we'd have uh, independent decisions. And the uh, oral board that we did is um, we had uh, we have five on the board. Just three, chief. Just three. Yeah. Um, we, we took sergeants from other departments and, and some of our members, mm -hmm. and we interviewed all the candidates, all the successful candidates, and we picked the best ones. Mm -hmm. The ones, not, not the ones, I shouldn't say the best ones, the ones that fit Rowley the best. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're really looking for is someone that's going to fit in with our organization. Not that all the other candidates were qualified, but these, these gentlemen seem like they fit our, our town really well. I got a soft spot for reserve policemen. My father, my dad was one. Went on 1935, the MDC, way back. So. Um, well, the Essex chief wasn't pleased with me that we were taking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could imagine. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh well. Oh well. Uh, his loss, our game. So, any questions from the board? Are you? Is it uh, Mr. Adams that works for Essex too? No, no, um, no. Matthew works for worked for Essex. He's resigned to take the job here. Oh, you're gonna um, yeah. not two towns. You're gonna yeah, no, stick we, around. Yeah, no, we don't we don't permit that. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Just ask the question. Any, any other questions, Chuck? Anybody, anybody else? No, I think we got the chief has done a, a good job as always, and uh, yeah. we look forward to uh, working with these two candidates. Mm -hmm. So, with that. Do I have a motion for the board? I'll make the motion that we appoint Matthew Ducott of Raleigh, Mass, and Rodham, and Robert Adams of Lynn to the position of Reserve Patrolman Effective September 18, 2012. I'll second that motion. And to June 30th, 2013? Yep, yep. Okay, and expiring on June 30th. I have a motion. I have a motion. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank Welcome you. aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Congratulations. Sir. Welcome aboard. Thank, 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 Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you do it. Nice Good to see you. Press on the flash. Yes. Chief. <laughs> Thank you. Chief. Thank you guys very much. Okay.
Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. We'll see you around town. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Something I said? <laughs> Nobody's interested in mosquitoes. <laughs> Evidently not. No. <laughs> Evidently not. Not like us. <laughs> okay. A couple more mornings like this morning, they'll get knocked down. Yeah, they will. I noticed that crab glass is quickly dying. Yeah. Except on my lawn. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Old business. Health Department update on mosquito virus concerns in the region. Health Department update on mosquito virus concerns in the region. Coordinator of Health Services, Frank Marciani, uh, reported to Debbie Egan today that there has been no positive test, re test results for either West Nile or Eastern Equine Encephalitis, mosquito-borne viruses in Raleigh. These res results are based on Northeast mosquito control tests conducted last week and released today. Wenham has only, uh, uh, was the only c uh, community in the district with a positive result, which was of Nes West Nile virus. Cooler temperatures at night may, have be, may be reducing mosquito activity. However, precautions must be made, uh, still taken because mosquito season continues until the first good solid frost occurs. Raleigh Health Department reminds residents to continue taking uh, personal precautions to protect themselves against mosquito-borne illnesses. Northeast Mosquito Control con uh, conducted target spraying in Raleigh last week in the following locations. All the ball fields, Ezra Park, Haley Field, Freckland uh, Field, including the area around Pine Grove School, the Ra uh, Raleigh Cemetery, the the routine aerial larvicide application over the coastal salt marshes in Raleigh and surrounding towns will be completed as scheduled. Residents are asked to contact the Health Department office at 948-2231 for more information. And also keep tuned to our CM, Raleigh Community Media. Yes. Uh, if there's any bulletins that will be showing up there, you'll be able to get them very, very quickly. Wasn't there a positive test in Newbury? Yes. Yeah, but not the past this past week. Oh. Not two weeks ago. Like two weeks ago. ago. Okay. So hopefully we'll have that first frost. And um, well, we don't want to get too cold too quick, but we really like to have that first frost, knock the mosquitoes down, and then have the temperature go up again. <laughs> So, minutes for September the 10th, 2012. Has everyone read them? I yes. have read them and have a uh, comment. Okay. On page one, uh, the last paragraph. Yes. We have, uh, which is, everybody says it this way, NYFD, and actually NYFD, New York Fire Department, says it, Fire Department of New York, so it should be FDNY. FDNY, yes. FDNY. Okay. And also, uh, unfortunately, uh, Reverend Hagopian was not able to make the trip to New York, but there were two uh, call firefighters from the f call force that went with myself and Chief Broderick down to pick up the steel. Okay. And on page two, in the first paragraph uh, at the top of the page on the second line, uh, it says, view it, view the cable. And it should actually be view the web. View the web, okay. Yeah. Which is the center piece of, a, of an I beam. Yep. And that's it for me. And that's it. Anything else from anyone of the board members? Okay, do I have a motion to accept the minutes? That's I'll make that motion. And do I have a second? Second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that takes care of old business, general business, minutes. And now we're into announcements. We're taking care of all the appointments. And again, I want to remind everybody, as I did in the beginning of the meeting, Raleigh Food Pantry is in need of donations. For, uh, the food pantry is open Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 
12 p.m. and Thursdays from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I talked to two of the ladies this morning, uh, and they told me they are in need of tissue, paper goods, also jelly and jam, small jars, and also tuna fish, cans of tuna fish. And um, th th those are very helpful. So as we go into the fall and heading towards winter, uh, your donations are needed more than ever. So if you can, um, please donate. And again, we, we, at the library, there's a basket. And again, you can go to the food pantry on those two dates I mentioned, Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Thursdays from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Again, it's, it's a great way to reach out to those less fortunate in our community. So I thank you, and I know the board thanks you for that, and I know everybody at the food pantry who works so hard to take care of those less fortunate. So, Sales and Trails event, Rally History Jeopardy game on Sunday, September 23rd, 1 p.m. at Rally Town Hall. Um, I have bumped into a few people around town, and they told me, good luck, Bob. <laughs> so I, I will be a featured contestant. So I'm boning up on my Raleigh history. That's good. And um, I spent a little time on the web today, so we'll see how I do. <laughs> so, so again, it is um, this Sunday, September 23rd at 1 p.m. At, at the town hall upstairs. So, who else is going to be on this, this panel beside myself? Uh, I don't really know. I know that uh, the moderator is going to actually be the moderator at the, at the Jeopardy game, uh -huh. uh, Joan Peterson. And I really don't know who else they've picked. Uh, I know they've asked some other people, but I don't know who they are. I really could have used it yesterday at 1 o'clock instead <laughs> of this Sunday because watching the Patriots was very painful yesterday. <laughs> it was, that, yes. That, that, yeah, I, be I believe, I know they uh, were considering, uh, they were going to ask the uh, police and the fire, fire those people. and okay. electric. Yeah. I don't know who. Yeah, I've been kind of in the, on the sideline, just kind of reviewing the questions and giving them some information there, but I, so I haven't really been as part of it right. as, as such. Like they were hoping to come up with you 16. You were up questions? Like how many pigs were on the common in, in 1639 or something like that or, you know? Yeah, basically. Like, basically, yeah, that's yeah. Right. I'm not going to give you the answer. <laughs> 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 who, who owned the most cattle in Raleigh in, in 1644? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure there were too many cows in Raleigh in 1644. <laughs> All right. Okay, moving on. The last day of um, Rowley Farmer's Market will be Sunday, uh, September 23rd. Have we heard anything from them, uh, Debbie, on, on when they're going to have their last day? It, it's this Sunday. Is it this 23rd? So it coincides with the sales and trails. Okay, because uh, they mentioned yesterday at the Historical Society had the uh, concession stand there yesterday. And Mr. Pasanke mentioned the 30th. Okay, um, I didn't get that. Communication so in. I'm not sure exactly whether it's the 23rd or the 30th. Yeah, I thought the uh, sales and well, I I have seen the date the 23rd up for the last day of the farmers market, yeah. but I did see the uh, sales and trails was this weekend and the following uh, 29th yeah, and 30th. Um, I know they kind of like to do it together, but I, I was thinking because they had the tractor uh, demonstration on show yesterday uh, with that part of it, so. Uh, well, we'll get in touch with him and find out if he needs uh, one more weekend. Sometimes when the farmers have an abundance of produce, they need to extend it for another week. And I believe yeah, even I last year it went into the first weekend in October, maybe. Yeah, I know the growing season they were saying was it, it was a couple of weeks early, but there's been so much of it yes. growing because it was such a good growing season that they might have some extra. Sure. What we'll do so. is um, we'll reach out to Mr. Pachanker and find out if he needs another weekend, and we'll get it on for next week's agenda. Okay. Okay, uh, moving on to Raleigh Community Blood Drive, Tuesday, September 25th, uh, 1 to 6 p.m. at the Raleigh Veterans Association at 19 Bradford Street, Raleigh. It's a good way, um, if you can, to drop by in the, af the afternoon, again, between 1 and 6 at the Raleigh Veterans Association and, um, and give blood. I try, to, I try to do that 
at least twice a year over there. And um, again, at the Riley Veterans this coming Tuesday, the 25th. So, I mean, there's the blood banks, uh, as I've heard, they're down, I guess, a little bit at this time. Mm -hmm. So they can really use it. They always can use it. There's so many things they can do with, with your blood, especially if you're type O. Okay, so again, don't forget, Tuesday, 1 to 6 p.m., you can stop by and, and get some blood. It's a great way to help somebody out. Uh, YMCA Road Race in downtown area on Saturday, September 29th, 9 a.m., starting Central Street and ending at the VFW. So again, uh, they have sign they, that's on the website, correct? It's yeah. on uh, yes. the Town of Rally website, yes. Okay, so there'll be a lot of people um, signing up for that race. I know there's a lot of runners in Rally and Ipswich and the surrounding communities that take part in that. So, all right. So with that, we have covered everything tonight. And uh, do I have a motion from the board to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. So I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next week. And don't forget those announcements about the food pantry, blood drive, and uh, the road race coming up. Good night now.